This is something you don't see much anymore. Typists pecking away at the typewriters. But on Yangon's Mahabandula Street, it's a common sight. For decades, this is where people in Myanmar's commercial center went to have their wills, marriage licenses, depositions, and scores of other official documents typed up. Myanmar is late to the digital age. Fifty years of harsh military rule saw to that. And with few computers around, typists fill a niche. Now, as Myanmar opens up and technology floods in, the typing trade is in trouble. But Myan Tao, with 25 years in the business, says he's not obsolete yet. Even though we work on the sidewalk, we have a lot of experience. We can give people advice that they can't get in other shops. But people don't appreciate experience anymore. People prefer big shops with computers. There are some advantages to street-side typing. The rent is free, and there's no need for an electrical outlet. Also, because of frequent electric blackouts in Yango, typists can still be a necessity. If you have a shop, you can expand your business. But I can't afford the rent, and there aren't a lot of places for rent anymore. So I opened up a booth on the sidewalk. Mahabandula Street typists charge about $2 a page. And with a courthouse nearby, there is still enough legal work to keep them busy. It's not that much different than typing on a computer. The keyboards are the same. But if you make a mistake, it's harder to correct. If you get something wrong, you have to go back and start from the beginning. For now, Mahabandula Street typists keep on typing. But there's a nagging worry that their days may be numbered. <laughs>